Okay, so this is an explanation of how my practical work works. Uh, this is Max, this is its console window, and this is some files that I'm going to use to demonstrate it. So this section up here uh, loads in files when you drop them in. So you take your folder of MIDI tracks that you wanted to analyse and you drop it in there. And if we then open this up, it has a list of all the file locations that you just loaded in. Um, and then what you can do is you tell it to load in the files and then analyse them. So you'll see here that these numbers are changing, that's because it's registering the values from all the different files. Um, this, what it does is it takes all the file locations and then it splits out the note to find which track number it was on and then it splits out each variable of the note so the pitch, velocity uh, du and duration and then from there it passes these values into here um, and then stores them each in a different collection. Collections work like arrays. Um, over here we have the work that I did to try and make it analyze more than one track at a time, um, but it doesn't quite work. But this is how it works for a singular track. And then once it's done that, this button flashes up. I can just press the button again and you just can wait for it and then you see the button flashes to tell you that it's done. Um, over here is where I worked on getting multi-track synthesis to work, which again, it didn't quite work, but that's fine. Um, the actual synthesis itself worked fine, but the and problems with the analysis meant that it didn't work as intended. So then we go over to this section. Um, this here is where it synthesizes the different notes. So if I just move that over there. And if I hit a C to note, so that tells it where to start from. If I press this button here, you should be getting audio output for that. Um, and then you see each number that it generates for the pitch, velocity, and the duration of the note based on the information that would have been stored in these earlier. So this is to do with the different note uh, names or numbers rather and then how often they occur and what notes generally occur before or after them yeah. and then it just uh, puts them out into a make note which glues all the different components together and then they come out of a synthesizer that's built into your computer thank you